to, uh, to worship us relentlessly, so we can't exact- I don't want to kill them. Alright, now where the hell are we going? Come with the Overlord. Kill a thousand gnomes. We, <laughs> we only got 48. So yeah, this will be interesting. Can we? Clearly. Okay. Uh, where are they? Where are our reds? Oop, but I see a chest. Alright, wait. Does that mean we have to go back into the cave? Probably. Because we can't progress further this way. So, back to the cave we go. And yeah, maybe we'll get to kill some more uh, gnomes. Or let's see, can we actually go? Is there anything else over this way? Any more gnomes to kill? Nope. Okay. Wait. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything over here. Hey, peasant. Hey, they're all coming. Alright, my controller decided to reconnect. Don't know why, but alright. Okay, well, back to the cave. Alright, we can't smash anything there. Hold on. Quests. What the hell is this? Ah, oh, spells. This is pretty much just a rundown of, uh, Stats. Let's see. Must travel to another location to complete this task. All right. And what was this one? Oh, we gotta kill some. Well, that, that sucks. I want to keep them hostage. Fine. I guess we actually have to kill them. Well, peasant. I enjoyed your company and worship while it, while it lasted. Lord, release your evil presence spell earlier, and they'll become your slaves instead of piles of dust. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know that already. Uh, I, yep, I still gotta keep killing some for some reason. Well, sorry, but you must die because Nal says so. You need to swell your rank, sire. Release your evil presence spell earlier. And these yeah, yeah. No, I already know. I already have all these guys subdued. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I literally did just have to kill three people. Even though I would have preferred to, uh, you know, keep them hostage. A good overlord doesn't kill his worshippers. And there's a little return here. Alright. Good to know. Do I go back? Yep, travel to the nether. Okay. Now we get to see what our, our fortress looks like. Our tower. Oh, damn. The, the, they're worshipping me. How the hell did you get out of the the ice? We don't want another accident. You are indeed our ah, so name's Quaver. Overlord. It's somewhat of a relief, sire. We didn't want to have to bury another candidate. Master! The Netherworld will be your new seat of power, Lord. 
It's a little on the cavernous side at the moment, but now you're properly here, we can start to refurbish and expand the tunnel system. Nice. This will allow us access to other areas of the world where you can establish your new dark domain. I feel a small poem is called for to commemorate the event. Oh dear, he's off again. <laughs> there was a boy from the Northburg town who sent the locals screaming. But now the boy's become a man. He'll start his evil scheming. Sorry about that, sire. Sometimes there's no stopping him. We even got a janitor now. Oh my god. And it's not just a place to rest your evil posterior. You can teleport around your domain from here. And it will also alert you about recent events and quests. Why don't you try it out? All right. Know if you'd like to take the tour. Well, I mean, we kind of have to take the tour. We got to look at our new realm. Okay, let's see. Norberg requests an audience. Learn about the foundries. Learn about the private quarters. Or learn about the minion burrows. Let's, let's uh, we'll learn about the foundry first. Maybe you'd like to inspect the Netherworld Foundations, Master. Oh, the foundation. Very good. Follow me. Not the foundry. The foundation. My bad. Oh damn. This is much cooler than our, our our previous tower. We actually had to walk upstairs to get places. Now we just got this thing. Ah, oh, Giblet, I remember you from the last game. You were the forge master. Yep. Oh, we gotta get reds. And so yeah, the foundry, the foundation, pretty much is the forge. Well, Giblet, when I find those reds, you are going to be forging like mad. Check out this guy. He just—he's hardly working. Yeah, so this will be where we craft stuff, alright. Yeah, they, they made huge leaps between Overlord 1 and this one. The natural laws are a little bit flexible. What the hell? We got a minion reaper here. From here, you can travel to the other areas of the netherworld. This is construction minion Giblet, sire. He's overseeing the construction of a new dark tower. All right. This is minion Mortis. He oversees the life and death of the minions in the spawning pit. Yep. This minion Grim Reaper. Rock, sire. All right. Get over here, Rock. Let's go check out the minion spawner pit. The minion burrows are believed to be the birthplace of the first minion. He who dug his way to the surface to serve the very first overlord. Uh, here we Wait, saying I'm not the first, but I'm the greatest, right? Mortis is in charge. Better tell me I'm the greatest. Your decision, sire. Spawns new minions, tends the souls of the dead, make sure they don't come back with the wrong head, that sort of thing. Ah. This is what we are, and what we will always You 
Hey, there's a rat. And I can't even hit it. Okay, that's cool. Which allow minion summoning. Unfortunately, during the exodus, several minion hives were lost. We only managed to retain the browns. I'm sure they'd love a visit. I'll visit them shortly. Ooh, we can check the graveyard. What minions have we lost? We lost Thresher. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. The newborn, we level one, and he was a casualty of war. But good thing about this game is we could uh, we're able to resurrect minions by sacrificing others. So if we uh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, once once we get stronger minions, and if they die, unfortunately, which of course will happen because I'm playing this game, but we will be able to uh, bring them back with just a small uh, a small uh, token uh, sacrifice. Ooh. Okay. So. Good to know. Yeah, so when our minions do eventually die because I'm playing, we will just have to uh, sacrifice a few new ones to get back our our full oh, army. Ah, oh, no reds. Those bastards. Don't worry, Mort. We're gonna get them back. I swear. Alright, so that's, uh, this is the minion totem, I guess. Anything else around here? Oh, this is the brown hive? Okay, that's cool. Oh, we even get to look at the ones we have. Browns are your main melee fighters due to their attitude of hit first, jump up and down on the carcass later. <laughs> well, that definitely, uh, describes browns. But we got, uh, we got Dribby, Nordberg Gasher. Level four, all right. How do we? How do we see who else we have? All right, we can't. I guess. Oh nope, there we go. We got Punchy, Hunter, Hunter, level three. Why? Why can't we see them? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, there's him. There's Punchy. Okay. We got Grot, the Elf Robber. We got Trix, the Legion Slicer, Bones, Legion Basher, Drivel, the Legion, another Legion Basher, Ravage, the Nordic uh, Avenger, Blot, Hunter Hunter. Oh yeah, Scabs, Nord Avenger. All right, but yeah, and then Glob or Gloob, the Hunter Hunter. But yeah, we we get the we got all these guys. <laughs> we even got someone named Ears and Fidget. All right, so yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. We're gonna we're gonna level up our favorite guys. Let's bring back the ones that we want. This is this will be a fun playthrough. Anything over here? And then once we get more minions too, this will be even awesome. That's a blue to be over here. Spot is reserved for the blues. Their magical inclination meant they felt most lost without an overlord to guide them. Ah. to the nearest watery area. Strange fellows. We have no idea what's happened to them. Don't worry, now nah, we'll find them. But yeah, I think that's that whole area there besides the greens which I think go right there but yeah we just got you know one more area to check out our private quarters and then we'll 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 go visit these Nordbergians 